All right, so we get another look tonight at the great Yair Rodriguez, DC. It's hard to remember a fighter being as hyped as Rodriguez was when he made his UFC debut at UFC 180 back in 2014. And for my money, he has largely lived up to that. Yeah, he's lived up to expectation. I remember when we met Yair on the Ultimate Fighter of Latin America. Right away, you understood that there was a star quality about this kid, but also an ability to just be free inside of the octagon. And it shows in his performances. The knockout of the Korean Zombie will stand the test of time because it was one of the greatest fights you had ever seen. And Yair and his toughness allowed him to go and find that knockout with very short time left on the clock. At 26 years of age, that highlight that he produced won the best in UFC history. We'll see if he can follow it up with another win here tonight. Well, Brian T. City Ortega was 14-0 with a no contest when he ran into Max Holloway in his first UFC championship opportunity. That night didn't go his way, but a lot of people think he has all the skills and all the makeup to eventually get that belt around his waist. You don't lose, you get an opportunity to get better, and that's what Brian Ortega has to do after he lost that fight to Max Holloway. He will look to take those lessons learned in the octagon over the course of four and a half, five rounds, and apply them to his career as he goes forward. He has the skill, he has the heart, he has the ability, but now you just gotta put it all together if you wanna realize a UFC championship. And of course, if you hear the ladies screaming, that's because T-City has T -City taken his shirt off in the <laughs> inspection zone. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this featherweight tilt. Ortega is two years his senior. Rodriguez will have a two-inch reach advantage. To get us started with the official introductions, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a freestyle fighter holding a professional record of 13 wins, three losses, and one no contest. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, Yeah, El Pantera Rodriguez! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 15 wins, two losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Brian T. City Ortega. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? because I have time where I've been kicked like that. And I'm gonna tell you one thing, it does not feel good. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice connection with the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Able to check that kick as well. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Just out of range with that right hand.
big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And they separate. The jab followed by the right hand. Oh, straight right. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Yair Rodriguez. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Big call for West Land. Now he gets back to range. Ooh, looking to set up that head kick. And they separate. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fights. Oh, he heard a bell of the jab. With that hook shot, nicely done by T City, Brian Ortega. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it. He landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. All right, here we go now. Our second round. Ready? Ryan Ortega Ready? versus Yair Rodriguez. Oh, effective strike there by Ortega. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, hurt. He's throwing every part. Oh, that is as big a strike as he has landed thus far. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough the opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Oh, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Rodriguez lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions to get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are because it's dangerous. But there are a lot of outs, and if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on them. Ortega's going for a choke here. Oh, he's got a choke. He might get a finish here. 